This video will introduce you to working with answer scales. In this video we're going to cover adding answer scales, turning existing answers into a scale, and switching to and from answer scales. To better understand answer scales, let's take a look at an example. In this demo survey, we have two questions. The first question asks, what, the brand, what brands of cars have you ever heard of? We have Toyota, Mazda, Ford, Mercedes, Lexus, Volkswagen, and Volvo. The next question asks, and which of them is your favorite? And then we have again the same answers. Now you can see that we have the answers here, and we also have the same answers here. But what happens if we want to add another brand? Let's say we want to add SIA as a brand. In order to do that, we'll need to add SIA to this question and add SIA to this question as well. Now imagine doing that for 30 questions or 50 questions. That's a very hard job. That's why we have the answer scales. Those are pre-made lists of answers that you can use in any of the questions. And then you can update them once and it will be applied to all questions using those scales. So how do we add scales? We have two options of adding scales. The first option is going to the actual survey node, clicking on advanced and clicking the edit answer scales tab. This is one option. An easier option would be directly from the question, go to the Answers tab, click on the Answer Scale drop-down box and click on New. It will give us the warning that we're going to delete all of our current, current answers if we switch into a scale. If you click on Yes, you can add the actual scale. To add the actual scale, you simply type the answers one after the other. Once you're done, you select a name for your scale. By default, it's the name of the question. We're going to call it Cars 1. And you click on Create Scale. Immediately, your scale is applied to this question, and the answers have been switched our new scale. So now we have the Cars 1 scale. If we now want to add a new question, click on Add a Question, that uses the scale. I'm going to call it Choose a Car Brand. Instead of typing the questions, we can simply select from the scale. If we want to edit the scale, we simply click on the Edit button and the Scale Management window will pop up. The Cars 1 is already selected and we can edit Toyota to be Toyota 2 and add SIA into this scale and click on OK. And you can see that now Toyota was switched to Toyota 2 and SIA was added. If we switch to the previous question, we can see that SIAT was added here too, and Toyota was changed into Toyota too. But what if we don't want to type in all the answers into a scale? What if we already have added answers into a question and suddenly realize we want to turn it into a scale? This is possible. To do that, you simply click a question that has a couple of answers in them. For example, this question. Right-click on the question and select Make Questions Answers into Scale. When you do that, the question automatically switches its answers into a scale. And now, on top of the Cars 1 scale, we also have this scale. And which of them is your favorite? By default, it's the name of the question. If you want to edit the name of the scale, we can click on Edit, select it, and which of them is your favorite, and rename it by typing in the new scale name. 
you can see that now we have the Cars 1 scale and the Cars 2 scale that we can choose from. Scales also work for multi-topic question. Let's add a multi-topic question. Multi-topic question is any of the grid questions that we have in survey to go Let's choose a single choice grid. And now we're going to rate the cars from 1 to 5. So in the answer we're going to put in 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then in the and then we would like the brands to be the topics. So instead of adding the brands one after the other here, we can just simply select from the Cars 2 topic and use this topic now in our multi in our single choice grid, grid question. If we already have an existing topic list that we want to turn into a scale, we can right-click the multi-topic answer and select the Make Question Topics into Scale option. If your question has a scale in the answers, you can still click on the Answer Properties and get the Answer Properties window to choose the other specify exclusive answer or do not random for that specific answer. Next up is switching to and from scales. So what if you have a question which is already using a scale but you don't want to use that scale anymore? Can you do that? Well yes. Here's how. So let's say that in this question to choose a car brand we're already using Cars 1 scale. What if we don't want to use this scale and want to switch back into a simple answer list format? To do that, we simply open up the answer scale dropdown and click on none. What this does is turning the actual answers back to a list, allowing us to rename things or add new answers or delete the answers.